So I'm going to show you guys how to make fake blood. There's different ones that you can make and there's different ones that you can uh, use and different products. This one is probably my favorite one to use because it's edible safe and it's very easy to get out of clothes. Um, corn, corn syrup is good to use. Uh, it's just no one really wants that in their mouth. So what you're going to start off with is obviously the Hershey chocolate, um, the Hershey strawberry or the chocolate sauce you can use depending on what color you want your blood. So you use a little bit of that. Red food dye or any really food dye you can use depending on what color you want it to be. It depends on what like movie you're making. I'm sure you could probably use like um, a syrup white chocolate or just corn syrup. But it honestly depends on what you're going for, what type of film you're making. Then we're gonna take our cocoa powder. You can add as many sprinkles in as you want, depending on how dark or how light you want it to be. It honestly depends on you and what you're going for for your film. Usually I have a jar to mix this all up in, but we're just gonna do this. And the good part about this is that it's it's safe, you can put it on your face, you can even eat it, you can consume it. So, I mean, there's nothing really that can go wrong with using this type of uh, fake blood or anything like that. You'll, It's definitely safe for all participants and everybody to use. And that's like the glorious part of this type of fake blood. Because a lot of the products that I did look at, they just weren't safe. Um... I even, I realized when I was used, like, uh, using fake blood that I bought at the store, I would break out um, because I was allergic to what they were using. And also, they usually do not sell fake blood in stores only around Halloween, and it's kind of hard when you're on a deadline for a film. So that's what uh, really got me into making it. So as you can see, it looks like blood. It is the right amount for it. Um, if you want to make it a little thicker, that's when you use the corn corn syrup so we'll use hopefully it'll come out yeah I hope it does so then you pour a little and then you stir it and that just makes it a little thicker um like depending on what you use like depending on what you're using it for uh there's also a way that you can make these into capsules you uh you use gelatin but i didn't have enough time to make them uh so when you bite into them they're like jelly packs so when you bite into them they ooze fake blood. they ooze what you made so i just didn't have enough time to do that maybe next time so that's it it's really easy and it only takes a few seconds and it lasts for the duration of the film and it's cheap i think with everything because most of it i already had I think I spent about maybe five bucks on everything and that saves me. I can make as much as I want and I'm not spending like 15 to $10 on a big thing, a big bottle of blood. So hope you guys enjoyed.